There's nothing to see. The dealers left weeks ago. Well, your dad wanted us out here for a reason. Right, to punish us like eight-year-olds. I resent the hell out of it. I resent how you jumped. I was just trying to help. Did I ask for help? Fine, next time you're on your own. I'll be better off. <sighs> Thing. I didn't say I didn't Drop appreciate it. it. have to leave with your fist. Hold still. God, you don't give your patients any warning or something? I figure if I catch you by surprise, we skip the tears. Very funny, nurse. Oh, doctor. Sorry. Dr. Finn. You're very funny. <laughs> Do I strike you as a, as a possible crybaby? Well, you'd be surprised how many doctors can't take needles. Oh. Mm. Well, I'm not one of them. Take them. Nurses around here that usually administer all the shots. You're one of those. I'm one of... I'm one of what? Who? Doctors who think that we should leave all the grunt work to nurses. Oh, no, no, I'm not. I'm not. No, I'm not. No, yeah. Right. So, is this your first time out with DWB, or? It's my second. Oh. Yeah. You? Nope, newbie. Actually, just finished my residency. Oh. It's a private practice. Doesn't that appeal to you? I didn't want to take a regular job with regular hours, regular work. Because you're not a, a regular type of girl. Yeah, don't waste your time flirting with me because uh, I'm here to work. You need all your shots for your trip. Oh, mother of God. So this guy who ends up saving Opal is the same guy who broke up Jake's marriage, the His Doctors Without Borders wife. Wow, okay, so, wait, this guy, uh, what did you say his name was again? Griffin Castillo. He stole a woman from Jake? God, so he must be really... I didn't notice. I didn't finish my question. Yes, okay, yes, he happens to be hot. Some would say very. <clears throat> but you didn't notice. That's what I said. Okay, so this very hot home wrecking Dr. Castillo shows up in Pine Valley at Jake's hospital. So he says. What, you don't believe him? Why? It's because of that ex, Kara? I don't know, but that is part of the reason why I'm volunteering at the Miranda Center, you know? Griffin will be there working on all the expansions, and it will give me a chance to get the, the full story, you know? To protect Jake. Hmm. Protect Jake. And you. He, he said he'd call, right? Oh, yeah. No, it's fine. It's going to take a lot to convince Marissa to make peace, so I, I, I want... JR to take as much time as he needs. Anyway, there are a few things I have to do. Um, I'll talk to you soon. Good luck with everything, and watch your back. Good luck to you, too. Thank you. Can I get you anything else, Mrs. Barton? Oh, no, that's all, Patrick. Thank you. Sure, great. say the same about you. Are you hiding state secrets? Uh, no, just filling out some paperwork so I can officially treat patients at the hospital. Oh, so you're staying? Uh, not permanently. But as long as I'm working at the center, I might as well put my OR skills to good use. Excuse me. Oh, yeah, Castillo here. Yeah, I'm treating Dr. Hayward. Uh-huh. 
What are you doing? I thought you said that you don't keep in touch with Kara anymore. Did you get my social security number, too? If you guys aren't in touch anymore, how come she's your emergency contact? Do you remember last year when Tad got that scrawny Charlie Brown Christmas tree? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we all decorated it? Yeah. You said you'd never done anything like that before. Yeah. And you went out and got us one so I could decorate my own tree. I don't think I ever appreciated Christmas as much. Not because I thought it would be my last. Because I had a family that I loved. Who loved me back. I meant what I said earlier. I only survived because you were by myself. Okay, Jared. No, I'm serious. You barely knew me, but here you were taking on my cancer battle like it was yours. I'll never forget that. I loved you. I thought you loved me, too. I did. So, about Christmas Day, uh, how do we split up AJ's time? Well, you can have any part of the day you'd like. You mean that? I was hoping, and I know that AJ would like it, if all three of us could spend a small part of Christmas together. <sighs> I promise to be on my best behavior. Isn't this your best behavior? Well, it's a sample. How come I have trouble trusting it? I guess I've given you reason to. You guess? Look, I, I, I don't even know why I'm here. We have a court date. <laughs> That's some date. Hey, can we catch some dinner afterwards? <laughs> I was so angry at you for what you put me through. But even more pissed at myself for letting you. That all sounds like it's past tense. That's a good thing. AJ's gonna love hanging that ornament. Does that mean that you're signing on to spend Christmas with the three of us? I guess it would be good for AJ. Thank you. Thank you so much. Where's your coat? Oh, isn't that a good question? Didn't find it. Um, what do you think? Sorry. You know where you should be, because in this neighborhood, they probably stole it before it even hit the ground. <laughs> That's not funny. Because I could have saved it if you hadn't jumped me. I was trying to save it, too. No, Brad. instead, you lost the only coat that I own just in time for winter. Mm. And I was leading with their fists. Me. You know what? That's it. I'm tired of playing this game with you. Game? This game, Natalia. Is this who you really are? One minute you're kissing me, the next minute you're beating me up. I really don't want any part of it. I don't ask you to want a part of it. Oh, that's right. I guess I was the idiot to believe it. We had something good. Now I'm tired of trying to make sense what you do or what you don't do. I've been through enough hell in my life. The last thing I need is a woman that has no idea what she wants. And even if she did, she probably doesn't have enough guts to go after it. Because her. I'm scared. I've tried not to be, but every time we get close, I feel this, this panic, like my world is spinning out of control. And I... You're shivering again. Yeah. That's the panic. <sighs> Look at me. Look at me. I will never hurt you. Hey. 
What's that for? I, well, I just figured anybody who's working as hard as you deserves a little pick-me-up. Thanks. You're welcome. And it's also a, a, a peace, peace, uh, what do you call it? Offering? Yes, that's what it is. It's black? Yeah. I figured if you handle your coffee any way that you handle your needles, you're probably not that fussy a person. Am I right? A lucky guess. Good. Okay. All right. Well, and to uh, a clean slate. Okay. Okay. Cheers. So what's it like over there? Well, based on my last stint, I wouldn't pretend to make any predictions about anything, but if I had to describe it, I'd say it's like living a full year every single day. You know, you go moment to moment, crisis to crisis, but you feel alive for every single second of it. Don't you eventually collapse? Well, some do, yeah, but you get done what needs to be done, you know? Don't get me wrong, I mean, I, it's not even like work, it's, it's a rush. It's just something I feel like I was meant to do. To be like right in the middle of action. To not live such a safe and predictable life. That sounds amazing. To be able to help people who really need you. Yeah. And, and you know, they, they actually need doctors, too. Oh, well. Yeah, I can't. Go. No? No. Hmm. Why is that? I just can't, so. Yeah. <clears throat> Do you like it here in your little tent? Right. <laughs> Just saying, you know, if you had said yes, I, I might have said, well, I know some people that might be able to push your application up to the top of the, and you could be in southern Sudan within a month. But you didn't say yes, so I'm not going to be pushy about the whole thing because you're happy here. So. I'm interested. Yeah, really? Yeah. All right. Well, we should see what we can do about that. Okay. Okay. I'm Jake, by the way. Just, mm -hmm. I... So what if I see Carol? It's not like we're married. You said something different before. Yeah, I didn't find it necessary to rub it in everybody's face. So better to lie to our faces? What did Jake do when he saw me? You know, I'm lucky I still have my nice smile. Okay, so you were afraid that he might punch you again? Wait, 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 who's saying anything about being afraid? Well, then what? You, you were trying to protect him? Okay, here's the thing. Jake has a thing about me. I don't care. Jake may have his feelings hurt. I don't care. Jake may be pissed. I don't care. As long as he stays away from me. And Kara? 